Hey guys, tis I, Sardo Von Olvon. Um, okay. This is the third take. I'm gonna get it right. I know it's been a long time since I've promised, I've been promising and promising and promising actually to re-upload my demonology videos. Uh, bear with me, I don't remember in what sequence they were in. I don't know what happened to the videos. I've had people say, oh, there's EMFs on the videos. I don't know enough about the subject to even um, say yes or no. <laughs> um, even though I would love one day to be a demonologist for a living, you know, just write papers for the Catholic Church, be like, here, here's a new demon, you know. <laughs> I get paid for it, you know. Like, okay. Um, so this will be, uh, Demonology, uh, we'll call it 102A, who knows. <sighs> All I know is I've been promising this for a long time and I should probably do it because I would like to build up my subscriber rate because I'm getting tired of just coming on here and watching music videos and stuff, you know. Um. And waiting for new, uh, like, anime abridged series, you know, where they're making fun of the original anime. And I'm not making fun. I'm making it funnier and better. That's it. So here we go. This is um, Wikipedia uh, classifications of demons. Um, okay. The Testament of Solomon. The Testament of Solomon is an Old Testament uh, pseudo-geographical work properly written by King Solomon or pur purportedly something like that written by King Solomon in which Solomon um, mostly describes particular demons who he enslaved to help build the temple. The question he put to them about the deeds and how they could be thwarted and their answers which provide a kind of self-help manual against demonic activity the date is very dubious though is considered to considered the oldest work surviving particularly concerned with individual demons um, Michael Phyllis or P S E L L U S, however you pronounce that, uh, classification of demons. This is a classification of demons uh, prepared by the name I just said in the 11th century and was um, inspired in inspiration for the one Francisco Maria Ga Gauza O. G U A Z Z O prepared later. They are divided into imperial or empty real, oops, aerial, um, subterranean, Musa Fuji, Aquidus, and Turini, I think. Spinal's classification of demons. Ensemble Alfonso de Spina in 1467 prepared the classifications of demons based on several categories demons of fate, goblins, incubi, and succubi, wandering groups of armies of demons, familiars, druids. Not druids. Drudeus. Um, Cambionas. C A M B I O N S. If you guys can figure out how to pronounce it, please comment below with the uh, uh, correct pron pronunciation, please. And other demons that are born from the union of a demon and a human being. Liar and mis mischievous demons, demons that attack the saints, demons that try to induce old women to attend witches' sabbaths. This, classific <coughs> Excuse me. 
this classification is somewhat um what does that say capricious and uh, sorry I can't talk tonight and it is difficult to find a cr criteria for it it seems that Spina was inspired by several legends and stories the druids belong to German folklore or druids drudges I think it's drudges uh, familiars goblins and other mysterious mischievous mischievous <laughs> demons belong to folklore of most European countries the belief in the incubi and succubus or succubi Okay, whoever correct whoever wrote this into Wikipedia spelt it wrong. <laughs> and their ability to procreate seem to have inspired the seventh category. But it could also have been inspired in the Talmudic Talmudic legend of demons having sexual intercourse with mortal women. See also um Mass Temia. The visions of the tempting demons that some earlier and not too early saints had perhaps inspired the ninth category, e.g., the vision of Anthony the Great. The idea of an old woman attending a Sabbath was common during the European Middle Ages and Renaissance, and Spinia mentioned it before the Malus Malakifi Malakari Malakarm I can't pronounce the word I'm sorry guys Binsfield's classifications of demons Peter Binsfield prepared a classification of demons in 15, 1589 his demon classifications was based on seven daily sins Establishing that each one mentioned demons tempting people by means of one of the sins. Lucifer was pride. Madam Manon. Something like that. Greed. Asmosius. Lust. Leviathan. Envy. Beelzebub. Gluttony. Satan. Slash. Amon. Wrath. Bell. Gore sloth Gazos uh, Francisco Maria the G U A Z Z O prepared this classification of demons based on previous works by Michael um, Pacellus. It was published in his book. Uh, I'm just going to copy and paste this and put it in the description box because I can't pronounce um, uh, it's something Maleficarium in 1608. I can't pronounce the first word so I'm just going to make it a footnote. Demons of the superior layers of air which never establish a relationship with people. Sorry I just wanted to check so much time I had left. Demons of the inferno layers of the air which are responsible for storms demons of the earth which dwell in fields caves and forests demons of the water are female demons and destroy aquatic animals demons of the other underground part of the earth responsible for keeping hidden treasures causing earthquakes and causing the crumble crumbling of houses Demons of the night, which are black and evil, these demons avoid daylight. In 1613, Sebastian Michael Ellis wrote a book, Ad Abnerable, Abner, I can't pronounce it, <laughs> I don't know why, I can hear it in my head, um, Admirable, 
history, which includes the classifications of demons as it was told to him by the demon Bert. Birth, when he was exercising a nun according to the author. This classification is based on the pseudo Dionysian Dionysa uh, her hierarchy. According to the sins of the demons the sins of the devil tempts one to commit and includes the demon adversaries who suffered that temptation without failing. The first hierarchy. The first hierarchy includes angels that were or are Safari Safar Seraphin, Chir Cherubin, and Thorns. Beelzebub was the prince of the Seraphim. Just below Lucifer, Beelzebub was uh, along with Lucifer and Leviathan, were the first three angels to fall. His, he tempts men with pride and is opposed by St. Francis of Assia. Leviathan was also a prince of the Seraphim, who tempt, tempts people to give in to heresy and oppose St. Peter. Asmodeus was the prince of was also a prince of the seraphim. Reportedly continues to be one, burning with desires to tempt men into wantonness. He is opposed by Saint John the Baptist. Birith was the prince of the cherubs. Chibarium. He tempts men to commit homicide and to be quarrelsome, contemptuous, and blasphemous. He is opposed by Saint Bamas. Bamamas, Bamamas, Bamabaz. Uh, Vernon was also a prince of the thorns, just below as Atheros. Shit. Astaroth. <laughs> God. I am so, so sorry. I am so exhausted from work today. So please just bear with my uh, tied tongue right now. He tempts men with impatience and is opposed by Saint Dominic. Grezel was the third prince of the thorns who tempts men with impurity and is opposed by Saint uh, Bernard. <laughs> opposed by a dog. Groovy. Um, Son Neilon. Yeah, I have no idea. It sound. I think that's how you say it. Was the fourth prince of the thorns, who tempts men to hate and oppo and is opposed to. Opposed by St. Stephen. Okay, guys, I'm approaching the 15, so I'm going to stop after the second hierarchy. The second hierarchy includes powers, uh, dominions, and virtues. Ryu, I think that's how you say it, was the Prince of Powers. He tempts men with hardness of the heart and is opposed by St. Vincent and Vincent Fuhrer. Carnivia. I'm not good with that. With Italian words, I think it's Italian. Um, was also a prince of powers. He tempts men to um, obscenity and shamelessness, and is opposed by John the Ev John the Evangelist. O ye. Oelit, I think. O E I L 
capital E T was the prince of Domin Dominions. He tempts men to break the vow of poverty and is opposed by Saint Martin. Ro Rosiler was the second in the order of dominions. He tempts men against sexual purity and is opposed by Saint ba Basil. Belalaz was the prince of virtues. He tempts men with arrogance and women to be vain, raise their children as warriors, and gossip during mass. He is opposed by Saint Francis de Paul. Okay, the third hierarchy is short. I think I might be able to fit it in. Hmm, I'm able to go past 15 minutes. Cool. <laughs> the third hierarchy includes principles, principalities, archangels, and angels. Oliver was the prince of archangels. He tempts men with cruelty and mercilessness toward the poor and is opposed by St. Lawrence. Levart was the prince of angels at, at the time of Michael's, Michael's writing. Levart was believed to be in the body of Sister uh, Madeline. Madeline, Madeline, I think that's it. Okay, guys, um, that about wraps it up. I am moving into the last little bit of time. I hope you found this um, video a good way of making up for um, my promises. I will work on more of these. So this is Sardo Vano Vaughn saying peace. The fuck out.